believe that Cyprus is, um, is not the first time that turn around a very bad economic crisis. Uh, we've done it before and uh, we've done it again. I think um, Cypriots are real alcoholics and uh, this is the key to the uh, return to the fast economy. Uh, I believe the private sector has plays a very big role. Cyprus is a um, growing market. I believe that um, we are organized and uh, we have uh, good protections. We have all this uh, licensing which uh, the government have uh, given to a lot of uh, big multinational companies. Uh, the natural gas eventually will come uh, someday, uh, maybe not uh, uh, tomorrow, but uh, maybe in a couple of years we will have uh, uh, natural gas, which uh, that will give a boost in the economy again in the, in the country. Uh, as Petrolina, we are uh, studying all the uh, sector of the energy. Uh, yes, we are uh, in, the, in the process of making a good study about electricity. It looks like it's the new um, sort of idea all over the world. It looks like it's probably in the near future. We don't know in Cyprus when it will come. Uh, I'm sure it will come eventually. Petrolina is making a study regarding the electricity sector. In the whole energy, we are uh, studying possibilities, either photovoltaics or uh, other means of energy. I think um, my father, who was one of the founders with his brothers, uh, they started this business back in 1946 when they had uh, been doing commercial uh, business with trucks and uh, buses. And in 1960, when they eventually decided to do Petrolina, everybody was saying that you will smash your faces, but uh, we didn't. We are still here. Uh, I think uh, the secret is that uh, uh, if you would ask my father uh, at any time, you say, yes, work, work, work. And that's what the secret of uh, Petrolina is. All of our employees, all of our uh, people, they are working very hard. And I believe that uh, all our um, idea is to work harder in order to grow bigger. We are happy because we are still today, we are the second generation, the third generation is coming in very shortly. So Petrolina is here to stay. Back in 2000, uh, we went public. Uh, that was the, one of the biggest um, turnaround as a family because uh, it's not easy from a family business to turn into a public company, but uh, we are still, um, as I said here, and we are uh, uh, modernized our uh, company and we quiet. Motor Oil is a big company, it's a great company, we know them, we've been cooperating, we've been buying products from them uh, for some time, we, we have a good relationship, so uh, we've been supplying Lugo Oil in the past, we have an agreement also to supply uh, Coral or Motor Oil, how they come here in uh, Cyprus, and um, we hope that uh, it will not affect us or it will affect us the, the less possible way. We are not afraid of competition. We are uh, trying to be uh, and service our uh, people, the, uh, our clients, the best way possible. And uh, I believe that Petrolina is, uh, as I said before, uh, is the head in the petroleum business in Cyprus and we hope to remain there. The state has made an agreement with the municipality that all petroleum and LPG companies will relocate from Larnaga to Vasiligo area, where it's been um, stayed as the energy area. Now, uh, due to that and due to logistic purposes, we made a JV which uh, is under the approval of uh, a competition committee 
and this is something that um, uh, it remains to be seen how it will work. Uh, we have some companies have certain uh, um, question marks whether it will go ahead this JV because of some uh, rules which the competition committee has uh, stated at this moment. Uh, we are still uh, under the process of uh, negotiating with the competition committee to see whether we can change some of these rules and uh, it remains to be seen whether the LPG JV will continue as it's stated at the moment. Yes, it's the four companies which um, operate today in Larnaca. Uh, they, we try to make this JV in order to work and it's only logistics. What we did as Petrolina back in 2004 when we bought the Total Aviation, uh, we got some tanks which were rented from, uh, that company was renting from the cement factories, uh, the cement company. So what we did, uh, we, we transferred all, all our aviation business in the Vasiliko area at the time. And uh, this is about, uh, uh, what, 2004, 2005, 2006. All the aviation business was transferred to Vasiliko. Then after that, we have acquired additional storage uh, in Vasiliko from the cement companies again. We estimate that we have um, invested in this uh, sector about between 45 to 50 million uh, euros at the time. And yes, it's a big investment, but uh, we feel that uh, it's something that is, uh, is good for the company. And uh, yes, in uh, 2018, uh, we are very hopeful that um, Petrolina will relocate all his uh, business in petroleum products in the Vasiliko area. We are in the process now to build the loading rack uh, for the trucks and the tankers and uh, we, hope, we are very hopeful that we will be uh, ready to operate all the petroleum products for our company from Vasiliko by the end of 2018. The LPG is still to be remained to see how it will be uh, done. It needs about two years after the licensing to uh, build and be operational. So I feel that the LPG business will still be in Larnaca until maybe 2020. That's my personal uh, uh, view. Petrolina's um, uh, idea and uh, uh, the whole uh, philosophy is always to have, um, uh, to be updated, to be upgraded into um, European specification products, clean products, close to the environment, clean to the environment. And therefore the whole idea is that um, because uh, autogas is, uh, is supposed to be cleaner um, for the uh, environment, <coughs> we turn into the autogas uh, business. We have applied for uh, one autogas station in each city. Uh, the first one has been operated since about uh, one month now. We were the first uh, company who has operated uh, such a station. And it remains to be seen how it will go uh, personally, I feel that um, it's not a growing market. It's not a growing market. I feel that uh, diesel is coming back because uh, diesel engines are very efficient at the moment and very clean to the environment. Therefore, it's not easy to turn into um, autogas uh, for the vehicles uh, for a lot of reasons, for technical reasons. I mean, you don't spend uh, 2,000 euros to turn your vehicle into a gas uh, vehicle at the time that you, the, the price is a little bit cheaper. Uh, it's cheaper at the moment, but uh, uh, I believe that um, uh, if you consider the whole economy and the whole uh, budget of a, pers of a family, I think at the end of the month, it uh, is not such a big saving uh, at the end of the day. 
but anyway, uh, we had to go, as I said, Petrolina follows up always whatever comes uh, as a new uh, idea or a new product, so we have to do it. Here I have to say that uh, we have to be very careful because autogas is, a, is another uh, product, is not uh, the heating LPG, which has been used uh, for some time now in Cyprus. It's a completely different product with different specifications, so people ha have to be very careful to get uh, this product in their vehicles, whoever has that uh, uh, autogas uh, uh, needed to, for their vehicle. They had to be very careful to take from a, a, a licensed uh, station and a licensed uh, uh, depot, not from various other depots which they are not uh, licensed because this is not safe and people have to be very, very careful on that. Yeah, Petrolina always uh, as, a, as a family, because we are Cypriots, we always uh, feel that uh, we have to give back uh, to our people, to our clients and to our uh, people who need it most. Uh, we need to offer also our uh, whatever we can. And this is something that um, uh, yes, this is our, it's very strong uh, in Petrolina's DNA, uh, especially on the athletic. Um, uh, we are offering a lot uh, because all of us, we have some uh, sort of um, involvement in the athletic uh, sector of Cyprus. So yes, our DNA is, is in that sector and we are offering uh, a lot in the uh, teams in Cyprus, whether it's a football team, whether it's a basketball team, whether it's a um, whatever, volleyball or all uh, athletics, we do try to offer as much as we can. Uh, we do also do a, a festival, which uh, this year only about uh, a week ago we did the third festival in uh, Larnaca. The first one, unfortunately, was uh, uh, all the money were given to the um, people in need at the time of the 2013, which uh, uh, a lot of people remember that we had Sicidia, um, uh, like we call it in Greece, in Greek. Uh, it's like um, places that people go to get food and uh, clothing, etc. So uh, the first festival was uh, for this purpose. The second festival went to the Europa Donna, and the third one went to the Goal for uh, uh, Life. This is the a new uh, established uh, organization by all the football players in uh, Cyprus, and it was very uh, successful. Uh, we managed to bring a lot of people in the festival last uh, Sunday, and. Uh, Let's hope that the next one will be even more successful. Uh, Petrolina, as I said, is uh, offering as much as possible to the people because we feel that we have to return the gesture to our clients and to the uh, Cypriot community. Well, I hope that Petrolina will remain in the long time, uh, uh, a lot of years ahead. Um, we are trying as a second generation now to do an, a nice management structure. One of the reasons going public is because after certain generations, then you are not a family, you are partners. So we hope that uh, Petrolina will remain there because uh, we have to establish a very good management structure. The third generation, uh, we are trying uh, as a second generation to keep them together and uh, try to teach them the secrets of our uh, uh, work, which as I said in the beginning is work, work, work. <laughs>